We're not going to necessarily try and make a whole lot more power up top because mostly he's concerned with his daily driving. It is a daily driver, not a race car. It had a lot of flat features, I'll say. If you know anything about tuning, sometimes when you just want to make more power um, on the dyno, a lot of times you'll just basically change an entire section of a tune and make it a flat, like in the timing table, you just set it to a flat, let's say 30 degrees, okay? Um, that's not exactly always safe. You will get knock or you could start getting, you know, some detonation at that type of a, of a timing setting depending, you know, on the rest of the car and your fuel. Um, and if that's, you leave that flat and you're just a, um, basically depending on the car to use its knock sensors to turn it down, that's not exactly safe or always the best way to make power. Um, for a car like this where it's just daily driver, it's not what we recommend. So. We actually dialed in a true timing table for the car um, so it doesn't knock anymore, which is much better and much safer. So we did end up getting a little bit more torque out of the car in, uh, in third and fourth gear, and we were able to make the same, if not a couple more horsepower with a hot car. So when we first ran that car, we made, you guys see right there, 455 horsepower and 449 foot pounds of torque. Now, now that's not bad at all, but let me pull up the last run we just did and I'll show you guys that one. So this guys is the pull that we just showed you. This is the final run. I'm pretty happy with it. We ended up making 475.5 rear wheel horsepower and 501 foot pounds of torque. Now it's a stage two camshaft and stage two valve trains. It's pretty good, I'm happy with it and the drivability is a lot better.